Welcome back to GIS Gallery. In this second part of our Spatial Adjustment in ArcGIS Pro series, we'll dive deeper into advanced tools like rubber sheet adjustment and edge snapping. These techniques are critical for fine-tuning spatial data alignment and ensuring accuracy in your GIS projects. Stick around as we explore how to use these tools effectively. Edge matching. Okay. So we'll be doing edge matching next. So I have two data here, which is strange south and then strange north. Alright, so I have two data which are stream south and stream north. So if I come over here, you can see that there is a gap between my uh, two layers, right? I have the stream south here, I have the stream north here, and there is a gap in between, right? So if we, I pan over all of this location, you can actually see that there is a gap in between, okay? So it might be because like if some person might have like split their work that they'll start from here and the other person will start from here but then uh, there might be some miscommunication about the, the place where they'll split the work right so what happens is there's a gap in between so the tool that you can use to actually match these kind of gaps is called edge matching okay the process where you can actually match two features uh, together uh, so that there's no gap in between them that is called edge matching. Okay, so the uh, tool for ed edge matching is actually not in this modified features, but in your geo processing tool. Okay, so in your geo processing tool, if you actually search for edge match, right? So if you search for edge match, you can have you have a tool which is called edge match feature so what does it do it modifies the input line feature by spatially adjusting the shapes guided by the specified edge match link so that they become connected with the lines of the adjacent data set so you can actually join two data sets right so that there is no gap between them by edge match features in arc map you could actually do this in one step so this will be an edge match features tool and you just directly run them but then ArcGIS Pro, there's a difference, right? So if we have the input feature here, which could be either one of these data. And then we have the adjacent features, it would be the other feature, right? But then we have another important method, which is called input link features. So for running this edge match features tool, we actually need a link data, okay? So for creating link data, we'll have to run another tool, which is called generate edge match links. So what does it do? It finds matching but discounted line features along the edges of sources uh, data area and the adjacent data area and generate edge match links from one source line to the match adjacent line. So what does it do? It actually creates more links that is not joined, right? So it actually dis uh, creates more uh, disconnected links between two data so that these links can be used to edge match your feature. So to do edge matching, the first rule that you need to run is generate edge match links. Okay, so in here you have the source features, it could be either one of your data. Your adjacent feature would be which should be your other data, right? So you have the two discounted data, so the two data set will be sitting here. And then what you need is a search distance. So we need to actually find the distance between them, right? So distance so that this said the tolerance right so up to how much these fields should be looking at so what you need to do is we have to first measure how much these gaps are so the first gap is around 28.58 and then i will also measure the other gaps here 28.58 i'll just go over here So everything is like a uniform 28.5 but to be uh, safe i'll just give out a 30 meter tolerance video right so i'll just give 30 meters and the output feature class is this name if i want to actually save it here i can just browse it down 
table location. So for running that, I just click on run here. Right. So it has run here. Now if you click, you look over here on your content, you have an option here called the edge match. Right. So edge match links have been created here. Okay. So if you turn it off, you can see edge match features have been created. Now using these edge match features, you can or uh, you can use using these edge match links, right? So with using these links, you can actually match these two data and then you can finally run the edge match features tool now. So click on edge match features tool. The input features will be either one of your data chain, so uh, south or north. And then we'll be giving your link feature, which is the just now created edge match edge link links, right? So we'll just click on links here, and then we have the adjacent features, which will be our other data. And then we have some methods here because we have move and point, uh, add segment or add, add vertices. I'll just give us the default one, which is move and point, so it will actually move the endpoints of two data so that they don't have any gaps between them, okay. And then what I can do is I'll just run it now. Okay, so it has been run now. And if I turn off my links, now you can see that there is no gap between them. And then you can see. So the endpoints were moved, right? So these two were joined together so that there is no gap between them. So there is no gap between them. So this is how you do your edge match features or edge matching. Yeah. And the next thing is we can do rubber sheet features, which is also a similar kind of transformation where you can. Yeah. So if you see here, we have I have an existing sheet. I have an inboard sheet here. Right. I have an existing sheet here, which is this one. Okay. And then I have the inboard sheet zero. Okay, so they are not matching. So I can actually align them by using this edge uh, rubber sheet features too. So for that, similarly, first we will need to run the generate rubber sheet links too, right? And then we will need to actually set up a source and target feature. So which is a source feature. So line features are source features, line to number sheet links, all links are just one feature. So the source features I will set my existing sheet. The target features I will set my uh, inboard sheets. All right. And then I will need to search, uh, set up the distance, right? So how much they are not varying. So I will just go to measure and then see how much there is a difference. So we know that this line should be coming over here. So I'll just search for the top. So this thing is 9.37 meters different. And then in here, measure. So it's 10.84. And in here it's 12.97. And here is 12.29. So, yeah, I think the 12.97 was the largest uh, discrepancy between them. So, I'll just give out a tolerance of 13 meters to be safe. Okay. So, I just click on it, uh, give it this uh, tolerance of 30 meters. I just run here. And okay, let me just run this. So we have two kind of features related here, which is the uh, points and then lines, right? So the points are the places where it it acts as an anchor point, right? So if you see these two data, there is not much, or oh, these two are fall on the same place 
on this point so this will be acting as a anchor points so that this uh, data will be aligned or transformed correct okay so we have these two data then we will come out to rubber sheet features we will just input a feature right so input feature will be my uh, import streets right right and then we have the input link features which is my this one and then i have the input feature as my anchor point this is this one and then i'll just click on run and what happens is it has no reference because i believe i gave the wrong order when i was running on the links here right so generate rubber sheet links i believe the source then I think this time it might be correct. So I just click on them. Yeah, this is green. Okay, so we have the anchor points and then the points where they should be linked. So that's the links here where they should be moved. Okay. And then we'll just click on rubber sheet 2. We have the input feature which is our Import streets. We have the input link feature. We will give the link, and then we have the points here. That's all right. Yes. So I'll just click on run. Yeah. Now we can see that it has been actually transformed into the correct location, right? So we have the links here to see what the change was earlier. These lines were over here. Yeah, so even it's confusing for me also. So where so the generate rubber sheet links, the source feature should be the data that you're trying to move it on, and the target is where it should be coming on. So my target should be here, the existing streets here, my source should be the import street, right? So import street I, I will be uh, transforming it to target, right? So it should be like that. First is import streets, it's a source. Change transforming a source feature okay into the place of your target feature, right? And then we'll be giving out the how much tolerance it should be searching to create links, right? After creating links, we can actually run now rubber sheet tool so that the input feature is the data that we're transforming, and then we can give out the input link where this should be moved. And we have the anchor points which are the points, and then we'll just run it so that it will be coming over. And following up.